Hi, how are you all going? How's your day going? So I popped a post up um, a couple of weeks ago just about a spa tame and I just wanted to um, just give you a little bit more information because I wanted to give you some more information that will help you as well. Um, just in case you, you know, just in case you do like drinking these sweet drinks with a spa tame. So I wanted to just let you know how it affects you, why maybe you shouldn't be drinking them, how it affects your hormones, and actually what you can do. So either if you stop taking aspartame, stop drinking the drinks, or there is a little trick you can do. If you've made the choice that you don't want to give up your Diet Coke, or you don't want to give up um, your Diet Sweets, or whatever it is with aspartame in. So aspartame, you take it, you break it down in the body, and it's actually your liver that breaks it down. And your liver uses amino acids, it uses sulfur, it uses methionine, it uses cysteine, it uses these vital amino acids that are required for detoxing other things. So if you're having aspartame a lot, you're having it daily in your diet drinks, essentially what is happening is your liver's having to break down aspartame over and over again. And then what happens is toxins, hormones, xenoestrogens, um, fungi, candida, they build up in your body. So that can actually cause a knock-on effect with diet drinks and what I've, and it can actually cause problems with stubborn weight. But definitely women with endometriosis, um, estrogen dependent cancers, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, fibroids, all of those, you should be really wary of these diet drinks with aspartame. And it really is because what it will cause is it will impede your liver to break down these byproducts, break down things that can cause cancer, break down things that can cause stubborn weight, break down things that can cause hormone dysregulation like endometriosis and polycystic ovarian um, syndrome. They build up because your body sees aspartame as this um, foreign, foreign thing that it needs to break down. And then what happens is you do become depleted of cysteine, methionine, sulfur, all these beautiful things your body needs to detox. Your liver needs these to detox. So essentially you'll be depleted in these. But one very, very, very important factor, huge important factor is glutathione. So anyone with autoimmune conditions, anybody with MTHFR, anybody with pain, inflammation, you really need to be careful because glutathione is super, 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 super important as an antioxidant, reducing homocysteine, supporting joints, supporting inflammation, supporting your heart. And aspartame will deplete this. So not all is lost. Either you can quit your diet drinks and just take mineral water or regular water um, and do, or even juice, you know, if you, if you want to have something sweet. Or what you can do if you're not ready there, because I have got a couple of clients that are not ready, they've given up alcohol or they've given up coffee, and they're not ready to give up their diet drinks. It's a lifelong habit, and I understand that. I totally get it. I'm with you. I've had lifelong habits as well. Um, you know, this life is a journey, but I'm here and I want to try and make things easier for you. So what you can do is actually take liver supplementation. You can take N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine is an amino acid which is vital for raising glutathione. So what you can do is you can take that each day and it will help to raise your glutathione levels. It will help to raise your... Um, raise your, lower your inflammation, sorry, and support your liver. Studies show, and there are studies, so if you've had your liver enzymes tested and your liver enzymes are high, and you drink diet drinks, you drink NutraSweet, um, anything with sweeteners with aspartame in, and your ALP is high, it's an indication your liver's not working. It could be because of the NutraSweet, because of the diet, diet drinks that you're drinking. So they have done studies to show that intake of aspartame raises liver enzymes. And when liver enzymes raise, we get fatty liver, we get weight gain, we get inflammation, and then we can also get um, other problems with the liver as well. So your options are to just stop it, swap it out for mineral water with some lemon, swap it out for mineral water with a dash of um, orange juice even, or if you're not ready to give up your sweet stuff, you could swap it out for a drink that's sweetened with stevia or orange juice or kombucha or something like that. Or if you're not ready to swap it out at all and you want to drink your, um, your diet drinks, then take N-acetylcysteine and supplement with something for the liver to support the liver enzymes. You know, milk thistle is wonderful for the liver and just give your body the ingredients, the raw ingredients it needs 
so you don't get depleted from detoxifying the aspartame. So that would be cysteine, um, that would be uh, methionine. Methionine is very important. Hey Megs, how are you going? Um, you've been putting strawberries and cherries. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. And I, and I have to say, it's like um, on these hot days, um, you know, if you're not a beer drinker or you're not drinking, you're not having alcohol, there's nothing better. What I do is, yeah, I have my soda water, have it in a bit of ice on a hot day at home and um, either put in a squeeze of orange or a squeeze of lemon or even, yeah, cucumber in. Um, strawberries and cherries are a great idea. And it just makes you feel like you're having a nice drink. It's a little bit of a treat. You get your electrolytes as well. Um, and it's also hydrating, particularly if you do lots of exercise like Megan does. She needs to be making sure she's getting her sodium, potassium, magnesium, um, magnesium in. So that was really all it is when it comes to um, when it comes to cleansing and when it comes to aspartame. Be careful if you've got endometriosis, PCOS, MTHFR, COMT, autoimmune conditions because the liver is fragile anyway. And if you feel like you've got an issue with having aspartame or you've got high liver enzymes, take milk thistle and also take N-acetylcysteine. Super, super, super important. Um, talking about hydration, Megan, it's very yeah very important on these hot days lots of lots of um lots of exercise to make sure you're keeping your electrolytes up so either putting a little bit of salt in water a little bicarb a squeeze of um a squeeze of fruit juice in your water just to keep you nice and um energized um and if you guys exercise a lot in this hot weather if you wake up in the morning and you're very very foggy fatigued um, or you've got a headache from your exercise have about a quarter of a teaspoon um in water in the morning of, of salt in water in the morning to to give you that extra kick you know good quality salt like himalayan rock salt hi zoha how are you going nice to see you again i hope um if i remember you're in um canada i think i think um so the gallbladder the gallbladder definitely as well so if you drink sweeteners the gallbladder will have an issue as well with detoxifying so n-acetylcysteine is specifically for the liver um, it does help the gallbladder, but it's specifically for the liver to cleanse the liver. The gallbladder, what will happen to the gallbladder is if you drink um, sweeteners, NutraSweet and things like aspartame regularly, the toxins from the liver, the liver can't process all the toxins. And so what it will do, oh, I knew, I had a feeling, yeah, I remembered. The, then that means the toxins from the liver, instead of being detoxified because they're, that they're trying to detoxify the aspartame, those toxins will go through the bile into the liver and cause what's kind of called sticky liver or, or gallstones. So that's why it's important to try and get to the root cause. And if you're drinking things like that or having an abundance of um, toxins or toxins in your food, um, external toxins, to work at the liver first. So the more cysteine, methionine and sulfur N-acetylcysteine you have, that will take the load off the gallbladder. And if the gallbladder is already kind of loaded, <laughs> then what you need to do is um, what I suggested a couple of weeks ago in terms of supporting the gallbladder apple cider vinegar is fantastic for that so just working on that and doing that um, will help the gallbladder definitely but start with the liver cysteine methionine n-acetylcysteine and um, milk thistle is wonderful particularly if you have elevated liver enzymes so that was just a quickie just going over because um, I wanted to clarify a few things because we do talk about NutraSweet and aspartame and why you shouldn't be having it but I wanted to explain the reason so you can make your own mind up and um, if you still want to drink it take N-acetylcysteine and um, try and swap it out if you can so I hope you found that helpful any questions below please pop them below and I'll chat to you next time Bye guys. Thanks Zoha. Thanks Megan. Have a great day. Bye.